As an out and proud LGBTQ person of color and as a member of the Latino Legislative Caucus, it's certainly an honor to rise today in support of SR 33. During Pride Month, we recognize the resilience, certainly, and determination of the many individuals who have fought and who continue fighting to simply live life freely and authentically. LGBTQ Latinos have been major contributors in the United States to everything from the arts, politics, and social justice movements. And certainly, distinguished LGBTQ members have taken great risks. The famous Mexican painter Frida Kahlo, Jose Julio Saria, the first openly LGBTQ gay candidate to run for public office in the United States, San Francisco County Board of Soups in 1961. LGBTQ Latinos have had a significant influence and continue to do so on American culture. This Pride Month, we recognize the contributions of many individuals across our nation. The Latino Caucus reaffirms our commitment to fight against all forms of discrimination and injustice. And we must note the fact that the chair of the Legislative Latino Caucus is for the first time a proud Latina lesbian assembly member, Sabrina Cervantes. Despite historic Supreme Court rulings that have struck down regressive laws, affirmed the right to marriage equality and secured workplace, workplace protections for LGBTQ individuals, there are efforts to roll back these hard-fought victories. In far too many states, LGBTQ individuals still lack protections, basic protections, for fundamental rights and dignity in hospitals, schools, public accommodations, and other spaces. We also continue to witness a tragic spike in violence, as has been mentioned many times today, against transgender and LGBTQ youth who are at disproportionate risk of harm. So as we celebrate LGBTQ Pride Month, we must all be diligent and steadfast in our commitment to help end violence, to stand and be vocal and be heard, and to end discrimination against the LGBTQ community so that we can, in the greatest of all American traditions, ensure a just and equitable country and society for us all. Colleagues, I don't know what it is in the recesses and insecurities of human nature. But throughout the often troubled evolution of our species, we have sought to segregate and make invisible and devalue the things that we fear and that we don't understand. And the division and isolation and fear then leads to an evolution to resentment and resentment to hate. It becomes easy to be violent, to be hateful, when you don't have to be constantly reminded of the people you seek to make invisible. Harvey Milk was right. We will not be invisible. We will stand and be proud. Thank you.